It can be kind of tricky knowing how much time to get on your options contracts. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can determine how much time to get on your options contracts. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. If you don't have a picture of this, take a picture of this, write it down, take a screenshot, do what you need to do until this is ingrained in your memory. This is going to be your time frame cheat sheet. This is going to help you know how much time you need on options contracts. So to answer the question, how much time should you get on an options contract? More than you need, but not too much. Now let's talk a bit about what that looks like. So when it comes to charting, you're usually going to want to chart on one of these larger time frames, and you'll usually take your entry on something like a five or 15 minute somewhere in that range. So you're going to use all these time frames to chart your trade. And if you took the time to chart, set your stop loss, pick out your profit targets, this is going to be everything you need to pick your strike and know how much time you need for it. So looking at this, we have this cheat sheet and I actually want to start off by charting a potential trade and then coming back to the cheat sheet and saying, how much time should I get? So let's do that. All right. So here we are. We're looking at Tesla. We are currently on the four hour chart and there's not anything specifically I'm looking for, but let's say uh, we got this trade right here and let's say uh, there's a demand zone right here. We come into this demand zone and we're expecting new highs. So if we're drawing that trade, it would look something like this. All right, maybe our stop loss is this region right here. And we're setting our profit target up here. Now, how we determine how much time we need is first off, we need to ask how long do we think it's going to take to get up there? So first off, last time it was up here when it was coming down, each candle is four hours. So you can see this is 9 a.m. on a Friday, including after hours, four candles of trading day. So that's one trading day, two trading days. So two trading days, and that's when it's moving in a straight line but the stock market doesn't always move in a straight line. You're probably going to want to at least double that so that you don't run out of time. So if we double two days, that's going to be four days. Each trading week has five days in there. So you're going to want at least a week of time. And me personally, watching a trade on the four hour, I would want between one and two weeks on a trade. All right. So if I were to grab a trade down here, let's say I bought a call, bought it right here, and I was expecting the trade to do the exact opposite. I would buy for the 205 strike and I would get at least a week of time on it. If I wanted to push it the closer to two weeks, going back over to look at our cheat sheet, you can see looking at it right here four hour prediction one week. So, so if you're trying to play safe with the time frames, if you're newer to trading, you should probably get a little bit more time. So if I try to trade on the four hour, like I just did, I want to get at least a week, probably going more for two. Let's take a look at another example. Let's look at Tesla again. Let's see what it did today. All right. So let me get rid of that. So I actually made a trade on Tesla today. I actually made two. I wrote this up and wrote it down, but let's say, okay, this trade right here, this happened right before market open. And then right at market open, it came up and ran up here. So looking on the 15 minute chart, or you can probably even go to a 10 minute chart. So looking on the 10 minute chart, we came up here, say we're looking forward to come back and almost retest the low. So it came up here, almost retested the low on a 10 minute. Uh, how many candles did this take? It took about five candles to make this move up. So if we took the time, doubled it. It took 50 minutes to go up. So to be safe, I would expect it to take at least double the time to come down. So in this instance, I would make sure I had at least a full day for the trade. But when it comes to options that expire the same day, that's pretty heavy. So I would make sure I have at least another day after I expect this move to take place. So how long did this trade actually take? So it came up here with one candle. Wait, hold on. Let me see. So we got one candle, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we doubled it, we'd be about right here. And then another two candles after that, and we hit our target and we cut out of the trade. So looking at it, let's look at what it says for the 10 minute chart. It says if you're on the 10 minute charts, it can take about an hour. And that is exactly how long it took to make that trade. So think of this as your little cheat sheet. This should be very helpful to you when you first start out trading options. Over time, it kind of becomes slight work. Uh, you should kind of have this memorized. Over time, you'll probably have your timeframes you like to trade on. So you'll probably 
get a feel for what kind of contracts you like to trade. But yeah, in the beginning, while you're still learning and testing things out, be sure to use this. And pro tip, if you really want to level up your trading skills, make sure you're using the Robinhood options watch list tool. If you don't know anything about that, be sure to check out this video right here. If you enjoyed the video and learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.